Hey everyone, in this video I'm talking about surface area. Remember, surface area is just the area of every surface. So remember, if I have a 3D shape, then I need to find the area of the front, the back, the top, the bottom, the left, and the right. So how many ever faces there are, or how many sides there are, I need to find the area of all of them, and then add them all up to get the surface area. So basically just finding area multiple times and adding them up. So I have a rectangular prism here, and the length is 9 feet, the width is 3 feet, and the height is 5 feet. Um, so I'm going to start by finding the area of the bottom. Um, it doesn't matter what side you start with, because you're just adding all the sides together. So remember, um, we found out in the other video that if you find the area of the bottom, that's going to be the same thing as the top on a rectangular prism because they're the exact same size. So if I can find the area of the bottom, I just times that by two because it's going to be the same as the top. So I'm going to say the top slash the bottom. I'll just group them together. Okay. So the bottom here is going to be nine feet by three feet. So I do nine times three. And that's going to give me an area of 27 feet squared. Okay. But that's only for the bottom. I also need to find the area of the top. So I'm going to multiply that by 2. Because remember, um, it's the top and the bottom. So that's going to add up to 54 feet squared. Okay, so for the top and bottom, I have 54 feet squared. So we got those two checked off. Um, why don't we do the left and the right this time? And if you want, you can find the area of um, all the six sides separately, but it does make it a little bit easier if we just group them together. So again, we know that the right and the left are the same size on a rectangular prism. So for, let's look at the right side here because it's easy to see. So I can see that it's three feet by five feet. So I do 3 times 5 equals 15. And remember, I'm going to multiply that by 2 because it's the left and the right side. So times 2. So that means for the left and the right, it's going to be 30 feet squared. Okay, so I have the top and the bottom are done. The left and the right are done. Now I need to do the front in the back. So for the front here, let me write front and back. Okay, so for the front side here, it's this big one right here, I can see that's nine feet, and then this side here is going to be five feet, because if this back one is five, this one's also going to be five. So for the front, I have nine times five, which equals 45. Remember, again, I'm going to multiply it by 2 because the front is 45 and then the back is 45. So that's going to give me 90 feet squared. Okay. So now I found the area of the top and bottom, left and right, front and back. So now what I need to do is add all these numbers together. So I'm going to add, so let's say SA for surface area. I'm going to add 54 plus 30 plus 90. And if I was to break it down, I could have said, well, I'm going to add 27 plus 27 plus 15 plus 15 plus 45 plus 45. And you would have been able to see that this is the top, the bottom, the left, the right, the front, and the back. So if I add those all up, the total surface area is going to be 90 plus 84 which means that the answer is 174, and it's going to be feet squared. So it's saying that around the entire rectangular prism, that there's 174 little squares, one foot by one foot, that would cover this entire thing. So I kind of think about surface area, like if I was going to make a blanket for my shape, how, how big would the blanket need to be to cover everything?